What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Star Life and welcome to the new backdrop. As you can see, we got a new background behind me. I figured we're entering 2016, so what better time to freaking try out a new backdrop. I added some lights behind the flat screen and hopefully you guys like this. I got some art on the walls from my homie Grant. He does a lot of like crazy abstract shit and I just think it looks really dope. Anyways, today's video is the top five thrift finds of 2015. I'm probably gonna do a top five hats video of 2015 and a top five sneaker video of 2015. If you guys wanna see those, definitely let me know by hitting that like button below. And of course, some of these items that are from my essential thrift wardrobe are shown off on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, definitely do that. That is at the start life. I will leave that somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Also, my feed is the dopest in the game. If you guys are interested in photography and fashion and all of that shit, go follow me on Instagram. Anyways, before we get into the video and before I show you the top five finds, I do want to touch on this shirt that I'm wearing because a lot of you guys be asking about this shirt every fucking time I wear it. Just so you guys know, this is a woman's shirt, but I love this tee. It's one of my favorite essential tees. I actually purchased three of them because they are so nice and they were on sale. Normally, they're about 60 bucks, but right now, which is why I'm talking about it, Urban Outfitters is having a sale, so it's marked at $36, and once you add it to your cart, it's like $21. And once you spend $50, you get free shipping, so really, you should just get $50 for the shit. I got a medium, and I'm 5'8 when the sun is out on a good day, and the length fits me just right. If I was any taller, I would have probably sized it to a large, but still really, really dope Tea. I love this thing and I wear this all the time. You know I really like something if I get three of them. Now the reason I'm actually talking about this tea today is because Urban Outfitters is having a sale and it's only going on today. They had the sale going from the 25th to the 28th and then they extended it a day and added a bunch of items. I didn't really talk too much about the sale that started on the 25th because I didn't feel like they refreshed enough items. I did tweet about it on my Twitter which is where I tweet all my sales. My Twitter is at the Star Life just like my Instagram. But at midnight they refreshed it and they added a bunch of really dope items so they have this in stock again. And they also have a really dope waterproof North Face. It's an all black, clean, waterproof trench coat. The water literally just beads right off. I did a video for a trench coat that is similar to this trench coat like over a year and a half to two years ago. But I paid $200 for that trench coat. The trench coat on there right now at UrbanOptors.com is only $72 after you add it to your cart. That's a crazy good deal for a really good quality waterproof trench coat that literally just deflects water. But I'm gonna leave a link to all the items that I think are dope on there right now in the description below, including this t-shirt. This will be the first one. It's from Silence Noise. Go check it out. If you're watching this after the 29th, I am sorry. The sale is probably over. You can still try to check the link below, but it probably will not be available. Anyway, speaking of essential teas, if you guys do not have the money to spend on essential teas, if you want to get that look and have that comfort of a really nice essential tea, do not sleep on the thrifts. So the number five thrift find is essential teas, which I know necessarily isn't one item. As you guys know, for me, I like a nice, clean, simple look. I like a lot of the loud stuff too, but nine times out of 10 when you see me, I will be in 50 shades of gray. I will not be wearing too much color. Sometimes I'll wear like a splash of red or a splash of blue or whatever, but for the most part, I like your essential pieces. I got this Perry LST, a nice clean essential tee. I got this for $2. I got this Pima cotton tee right here. This one was $3. And Pima cotton is a really nice soft cotton. I got this Banana Republic tee. As you can see, this is kind of like a brownish heathered color. Now, next up is band tees. And there's only really two band tees in particular that I'm gonna show off. I have another band tee that's a really dope Metallica band tee that I'm kind of debating whether I'm gonna sell or not. It's really, really freaking dope. But the two band tees are the Nirvana band tee, which as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Nirvana. I love Nirvana. Growing up in Washington, I think everyone loves Nirvana here. And of course, the Led Zeppelin tee that I showed off on my Snapchat not too long ago. Really, really dope. I love this. It was in like pristine condition. The cotton's still really soft. And I love Led Zeppelin. I grew up on like classic rock and gangster rap. I always tell people that so they understand. Like I don't wear band tees of bands that I don't support. There's a lot of band tees that I come across that are really dope and I end up selling them. Like there's been several Iron Maiden band tees that I really liked and even though I've listened to Iron Maiden, I'm not a huge Iron Maiden fan, so I don't really rock Iron Maiden band tees. If you do, that's perfectly fine, that's up to you. I personally don't care to represent something that may have a message that I don't understand or don't care for or don't listen to or don't support or whatever. To me, music is an art and I would never put on for an artist that I don't support. Now getting to the actual items because those are kind of just like generic things things to look for in the thrifts, but I wanted to include those in the top five to let you guys know to search for those in the thrift store and don't go spend ridiculous amounts of money because you think you need to to achieve that look. So the number three item would be the Vans bomber that I found. This thing is super dope. I love this thing. It's an olive green bomber here. It seems like a lot of people are fucking with earth tones and you can get a really dope olive green bomber in the thrift. Do not sleep on that, man. Like really, really dope. It's got a very clean logo pattern all over. So it has like some Vans logos all over this piece. 
It's a button enclosure. The sleeves actually unzip. This does fit me a little bit big, but I've just never sold it because honestly, it's just such a dope find. That I just do not want to get rid of it. It's a really, really dope piece. It's a really clean, essential olive bomber. The next piece is, once again, a beautiful olive masterpiece, and this is a Tommy Hilfiger olive trench coat. Super, super amazing. I love this thing. The zipper is super nice. Tommy Hilfiger right there. You really just can't go wrong. It looks super clean. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces. It's super tailored, so it's not the most comfortable of trench coats, but it's still super nice. I love the way the pockets look. Like, this thing is just fucking ill. I'm just checking my phone to make sure the whole thing's in the frame. But yeah, man, I love this piece. All right, so we got the first four pieces down of 2015. What is my number one thrift find? of 2015. Now this next piece does not get a lot of wear. Actually the last two pieces get more wear than this, but this is the number one find because I'm a fan of streetwear. I love the look and I love how streetwear has evolved into what it has today. Anyways, if you guys know about streetwear, you guys probably have heard the name Mastermind Japan. And I found a Mastermind Japan jacket in the thrift. This thing is freaking crazy. As you can see, it's got a button enclosure. It's got pleather sleeves. It's got the skull and crossbones on the back and then the skull and crossbones embroidered on the hood. It also has the skull and crossbones engraved or embossed on the button. This thing is an amazing jacket. I'm super stoked. There is some damage, like there's a tear on the inside. There's a button missing down here, but just very small minor things that don't really matter. At the end of the day, I mean, this jacket is a really rare jacket, and I got it for, I want to say, $12. Really, really dope piece, man. Mastermind Japan. I never showed this off in a video, I don't believe. I did show this off on my Snapchat, and if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, go do that. It's the star life, just like my Twitter and my Instagram. And I was so stoked when I came across this, because like I said, I'm a fan of streetwear, so I've always wanted a Mastermind Japan piece. But whenever I check eBay for dope pieces, they're always just so much money that I just say, fuck it. And I've literally looked at some of those pieces and like considered paying a couple hundred bucks for one of their jackets, but I just never did. And then I found this in the thrifts. And really, Mastermind Japan kind of pioneered that like really dark streetwear style. Anyways, yeah, man, it's been a great thrift year of 2015. I'm really, really stoked. I love thrifting, man. It's become like an addiction. I used to thrift back in the day when I was like super broke and my mom would force me to go to the thrift store to get my clothes because we didn't have money to go to the mall and shit like that. But as you guys know, Paul can't see with my brother. Me and him run this business together, hiv.bigcartel.com, where we sell a lot of our thrifted heat. And it's really become somewhat of an addiction for me. And Paul's the one that got me back into thrifting and he's got me just addicted to thrifts. I'm like constantly in the thrifts. And like, if I go a couple days without thrifting, like I literally have withdrawals. And if you guys don't know who Paul can't see is, I don't know where you're living probably under a rock but if you don't for whatever reason of course I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below so go check that out and for everyone watching if you guys want to show off your thrift finds if you guys make YouTube videos make a YouTube video showing off your thrift finds tag me in it let me know what your top five thrift finds of 2015 are if you guys don't make videos for whatever reason you can tag me on Instagram or send me a snapchat I might not reply to all the snapchats it's getting pretty hard to reply to all the snapchats however regardless I would still love to see a lot of you guys heat I love the thrift community and I love seeing what other people cop in the thrifts anyways let me know what your favorite thrift find of these five thrift finds kind of more than that because I included essential tees and band tees into one but whatever let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below and while you're down there hit that thumbs up like i said especially if you want to see a top five hats video of 2015 and a top five sneaker video of 2015 anyways that is it thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep living the star life I'm just trying to get them